incredibly proud to work for an organisation that not only prioritises patient safety and experience, but also staff work safety and wellbeing. Prior to working for CLCH, I lost count of the number of times that myself or colleagues said, oh, if we could just do it like this, it would be better. And there was no forum for that view to be got across officially and no way for us to be able to just try it out and see if those things worked. So the Shared Governance Councils were set up as part of the quality strategy a few years ago. Traditionally in organisations, the senior management and the board were the ones who made the decisions about the areas to focus on for improvement and also how they were going to improve those areas. What CLCH decided to do was flip the organisation on its head and instead of the senior managers and the board having all the power, they gave that power back to the frontline staff. So the quality councils were set up um, for members of staff in bands two to seven um, across all areas of the organisation, so not just clinical staff. With the idea being that these are the people who are in the best place to identify areas that are working well or not working so well and what we can do to improve those. I volunteered for the CLCH um, primarily because I wanted to put myself to use um, during a, a time of panic and crises and join the many other people out there that, that were doing the same and doing their part um, at a very, very difficult time. It can be a really powerful experience, very enriching if you meet people, learn from other people, learn from their experiences and share your own um, experiences and skills. Uh, it, it can really uh, allow you to um, feel a sense of pride and doing your duty for really important causes. Over the time that I've been involved, which is just about two years now, uh, I've participated in a number of uh, different events, uh, all related one way or another to patient experience. And these have involved um, auditing walk-in health centres along with other team members, uh, attending patient experience uh, quality improvement meetings, um, uh, attending public meetings uh, involved in one way or the other with uh, quality improvement uh, and particularly with patient experience. So it's been, uh, it's been a joy for me really to be able to contribute uh, in the, the sort of time that I now have uh, having uh, retired from my main career. So the RES Group is a government initiative that takes into consideration inequality and inequity with black and ethnic minority staff in terms of career progression and development. Um, for CLCH, the, our chief exec, um, Andrew Ridley, has taken on this initiative and taken it seriously. So there is um, a network that has been set up as a result of that. Being the co-chair means that I can be involved in forming this group, in helping to take this trust forward and assisting staff to become the best that they can be, whether they are black, an ethnic minority or other. We are delighted to be the first boroughs in London to achieve the UNICEF Baby Friendly Initiative Gold Sustainability Award. Achieving this accreditation is recognition of the hard work and commitment from everybody in the health visiting teams delivering effective information and support to parents with feeding and building close loving relationships with their babies. And we're proud that all the other health visiting services in CLCH are working towards baby friendly accreditation. Having gained gold accreditation in the inner boroughs, I think we are now gathering momentum and our health visitors and staff in other boroughs now want to go for this award. And what we've learned from getting the gold award in the inner boroughs, we will now share with others. And our aspiration is that we will get gold for all our services across the trust. I'm really pleased to see how many of our staff have joined shared governance councils. It's a really such a good way of us problem solving, making things better for staff and patients. And our quality development units, I think our staff see it as a real accolade to the care that they deliver in the organisation. And I'm really looking forward to having more quality development units next year. Mm -hmm.